Welcome to Dude RV. Cruising around here in southeastern Oklahoma. And today I find myself at Beaver's Bend State Park. Take a ride down this big long hill into the river campground portion of Beaver's Bend State Park. All right, I've got the camera seated. Cue the music. All right, Beaver's Bend State Park, McCurtain County, Oklahoma. Man, this place is just so gosh darn beautiful. If you've never been up here, you have got to come see it. Now, I don't know if I want to be here during the summer, because you know, I like, I like an empty campground. It is Thanksgiving Day 2020, and this place is pretty busy. So I can only imagine how busy it is during the, the peak of summer. We are on the, there's actually two parts to the Beaver's Bend State Park. And this part in particular is on the river coming out of Broken Bow Lake. A Broken Bow Lake is a very deep lake. It's like 620 feet deep. So the water coming out is cold. It's actually cold enough to support a healthy trout population year round. And so when we get down to the bottom of this big long hill, we're gonna cruise through a couple of different RV camping loops. Uh, the day use area, cabin camping loop, and it will close it out over by where we're camped on the river. I'm actually in the Fern Campground. Gotta get to the bottom of the hill. Ooh. I've seen so many deer since we've been here. So many deer here. Up here on the right is the cultural center. Or the Forest Heritage Center. Museum, park office. I think they have some pretty interesting exhibits there. All right, we're coming up on a stop sign, and I'm actually gonna stop at this stop sign. Mainly because I have control following me. We're gonna get over here to the Foggy Bottom restaurant, and I'm gonna readjust the camera here. Couldn't really do that on the hill coming down. whip in here real quick and control is supposed to wait for me here momentary pause in production we are back on the go now the foggy bottom restaurant 
was a busy place yesterday doesn't seem to be too busy today I guess they are closed for Thanksgiving Day we're now crossing Beaver Creek I think most of the Beavers Bend State Park here on the river was constructed by the CCC, the Civilian Conservation Corps, in the New Deal era. A lot of the buildings, like these cabins up here, just kind of have that CCC look about them. Over here on the left, you can see the day use area is under construction, being revitalized. I gotta tell you, man, I, I'm loving most of the roads down here, but we're coming up on an area where I'm not so much in love with the roads. We're gonna do a double loop through the RV camping area here on the river. Man, I am so happy to say that uh, the battery issues, Little Red's battery problem, has been solved. A couple of nice gentlemen from out in California helped me with that situation. So now Little Red has a, an effective range on flat grade. That effective range is over 20 miles riding it, going the, the, the way I go, you know, all out. Whereas before, one battery, about seven miles. Now one battery, over 20 miles. How cool is that? Uh, and I'm so happy with that. In case you can't tell, mole power is always better. All right. Of all the campsites in Beavers Bend State Park, number one up here is the is, is what I would pick. That is the best site right there because you're right on the river. You're right next to the fishing area. The end of the road with few neighbors. All right. Looks like we're gonna have an uninter or uninterrupted run. This is, by the way, the second time I've had to, sh I've shot this. Uh, or the, actually the second time I've made the run was the first time I had the camera working. I failed to activate the camera the first time down the hill. All right, now we're going to do an inner RV loop up here on top of this rise. These, these sites in this loop are a little bit, they're a lot tighter. <laughs> they're not a little bit tighter, they're a lot tighter. All right, we'll be coming right back out here. I'm gonna go against the flow so you get an idea of what these sites look like. And I'll, I'll slow it down a little bit too. There's some kamikaze kids on bicycles out here. You sure would hate to run into one of them. All these sites have shade. Beautiful shaded sites. Most of them have concrete pads.
All right, we're gonna we're gonna go this way, which is a little bit shorter. Sorry about the sun in your eyes. Go check out some cabins. Such a beautiful park. late in the day here on Thanksgiving Day. I think we're getting on close to four o'clock. A little bit later than I typically like to shoot my videos, but we do what we do. Get no stairs again. Oh man, what is that guy? Look at that guy! That guy on that scooter. What is that? Why, that's Little Red. Back across Beaver Creek. I'm going to go down here and check out some cabins, waterfront cabins. So you don't even have to have an RV to camp out here at Beaver's Bend State Park. <clears throat> check these out. These are like hanging out over the, the cliff. They all have stairs down to the water. Well, not down to the water, but they have stairs down to the river bank. Morris Mew. A little bit of a hill there. Control has not done as instructed. But that's okay. Y'all know the little white truck? She's just worried about me. I had her take me up to the top of the hill. And besides that, there's no TV and there's we have no internet so she's bored can't blame her we have verizon so if you have verizon and you're coming to beaver's bend don't plan on having any phone conversations Alright, so we have two hills to climb to get back to camp. We're still in the green on the battery. So there's, there's more cabins here. 
back up in these loops here. But that's pretty, you can see them, that's pretty much what they all look like, so. I haven't been inside any of them. I do know that the, the ones that overlook the water there, uh, they have linen service, because I, I saw some ladies bringing out sheets and towels yesterday. And I don't know if the rest of the cabins in the park also have linen service. It's a long hill. A long bumpy hill. We're almost there. Come on, little red. I'm headed back to camp. There we go. We have a car behind us, so we must must go fast. Stop sign coming up. I gotta pull over here and uh, give some directions to control. Probably a good, good thing for the battery anyway. All right, we are back on the road. Didn't realize you were that, I thought you were lost. Well, we're gonna hit switch back up to the top of this little hill. Almost there. There we go. All right. Back on the road. Uh, there is a whole lot of traffic in this park. Just so you know. And the, the road outside, the main road running through Beaver's Bend and the little town of Ho Chi Tao. I gotta tell you, man, the traffic on that road, crazy. So we've got tent camping down there on the right. It's a gravel road and I don't wanna ride on a gravel road. I'll show you tent camping sites over here where I'm camped that have paved roads. There are actually several points where you can access the river here at Beavers Bend State Park. And that's one of them. And there's a fly shop. 
case you don't know what kind of fly to use, like me, I don't know what kind of fly to use. Uh, I've never fished with flies before, so I can go in there and they can give me advice and sell me flies. Woo! Gotta, gotta skate it up the hill. We're almost there. Hold on. Come on, little red. We can do it. Almost got her. Enjoy these twos. Fast forward if you don't like it. We're almost there. We're almost to the end of the this particular run. <laughs> All right. We're making a left. We're going to check out the Elm Campground. This is a tent, tent, little tent loop. Now what makes Elm Campground of particular note for us is what we're going to see up here on the left. And that would be yurts. They're actually constructing yurts. Back up to the top of the little hill here. And we're going to go into Fern Campground. This is where we're set up. Such a lovely place. And if you're camped here in Fern, you'll be happy to know there's a dump station right there. There's also a horseback, horse stable, train, and wagon ride set up right across the road. There's a couple of more primitive camping areas on this little particular loop. But what I really like about it is there's not very much traffic. And we might see a Bigfoot. It is rumored that there is a North American ape in these woods. Or a North American primate, I guess would be the appropriate term. A great eight. I have a hitchhiker in the form of a stick. almost done. This has been a long video. I sure appreciate y'all sticking with me. Just 
so pretty down here. Well, fortunately, I've not identified any trails that would be scootable. I'll keep looking, but I don't have high hopes of finding any. Alright, one more. Ooh, that'd be Hickory Campground. And Hickory Camp Campground is like almost down at water's edge. And it's just a big loop. So we'll close it out right here. Hey, if you've stuck with me to this point, if you stayed with me to this point, man, I, <laughs> I'm really grateful. Thank you so much. And if you've not already done so, please click on the subscribe button. It's down there. And for those of you who have been following along all this time, thank you. I'm so deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. You gotta come see Big You gotta come see Beaver's Bend State Park, by the way. Alright, y'all come back now, you hear?